They say recent events have made the world seem like a better place. I hope all of you out there can smile and feel better knowing that it's true. Hello? Someone there? Game's over! This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. Got worse after you left. Mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking at your dad and please stop crying. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still Stop right there. there. I, just I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's power. you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, Message he let repeat. loose a whole lot of crap, if you'll pardon my language. From Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I'm... Hope you're still I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the overseer. But frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Feels like you left home a long time ago, but 
It's not that they want to leave. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? Okay. Follow me. Automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an uh -oh. automated Wait here. distress message this from look good. Vault Tech. You know I Vault can't do that, 101. Now get down below. Message Before begins. I have to do something, we'll both it regret. feels like you left home a long time ago. You me up I like know you you're crush. still out there. You can't I just hope you're snake, still alive man, to hear this. Things got Stay worse back. after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please Why stop looking you just for your leave dad us and alone? stop mine. You've done enough. Then. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Good to see you. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. I'm Message repeats. About this, this is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 1. Go ahead and start one. something. I dare Message you. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. You don't belong Message here repeat. anymore. This is Can't you just leave us alone? Distress message from Those Tech. kids are risking vault our entire one, vault oh, just because one. they're bored. Message it's begins. horrible. Feels like you left home a long time the ago. bugs were horrible, I know you're still but my family was pretty lucky. Hope you're still alive but then my this. Freddy went and got caught Things up with those idiot rebels. My father's gone mad with power. If you can oh, come hear on, this, please more stop looking for your doing. dad and help stop mine. I yes, changed the door yes. password to my name. If you're Danger. hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is... You're back again? Minute. They're a bunch of hellions, that's what they are. I'm at my wit's end about them. I really am. It's all kind of blurry for me. But I hear I owe you for saving me. But don't expect much. The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Why won't Message you just repeat. leave us alone? I really shouldn't be seen talking with you, you know. What do you want? Where to? As chance would have it, 
She was one of the first people to talk about life outside the vault after you left. No surprise. She always did like you. I hope you can talk some sense into her. Or maybe the two of you can come up with some other plan. Just be careful about it. Help me. You should remember it. Message repeats. This is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. Amada's up there, in the clinic. Amada's up there, in the clinic, with the rest of them. I'd take you closer, but they don't get along with security. Good luck. Go ahead and start something. I dare you. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life, when I could go out there and make my own choices? The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. I'm a barber, you got that? There's a difference. I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey. Play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Well, they ain't seen nothing like me yet. Butcher's gonna take that wasteland by storm. Because you've always been a goody two-shoes, so when I need help, it's what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault, and I'll leave and never bother you again. Catch you later, maybe. Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back! Thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, you can help set things straight. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then, I found out it was all to protect a lie! I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives! Oh. 
I heard we sent a couple of scouts outside long ago. Maybe the suit was theirs. The vault was open for a while, but for some reason they closed it off when we were babies and everyone swore to deny it had ever happened. But then Jonas died, and they're keeping us locked in here, all to protect that fantasy of remaining untainted by the outside world. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the vault or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be! After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door, and we're not going to give up until we can reach it. I certainly hope so. We can't keep going on like this. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just please don't do anything rash or hurt him, all right? I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know, maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks, and good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. You've got a lot to answer for, kid. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for Daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Really? And here I had expected you to be full of bullets and bravado, but short on brains. Perhaps you've grown up since you left our vault. I regret the unfortunate events of that night, but I'm afraid that once your father left us, they were unavoidable. The sad truth is 
that his actions presented a real and direct threat to the future success of our vault, and so, regrettably, they had to be opposed. I've spent many nights asking myself exactly that. He certainly didn't tell me before he left. I blame myself, really. I should have known better than to let him enter our home in the first place. He certainly showed his true colors in the end. Were he raised in the cleanliness of our vault, perhaps your father would have shown more dedication to the important things in life. Just as well that he left. We mustn't let humanity's last pure specimens be sullied with his type. No, but he didn't risk bringing you out into it, either. You have to wonder, is that why he left you behind? He wanted to know you were someplace safe? And then, like a fool, you squandered the greatest gift he ever left you. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? I admit in the two hundred years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My God, you're right. We won't last another hundred years whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. to see you again. I... I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. I know you are. And on behalf of the vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the Vault, you have to go. No, it's not like that. But if you stay, it'll just keep causing more problems. The Vault can't take any more infighting. It's just what has to be. 
It'll be a while before we're ready to really go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. With luck, we'll meet again. I never thought... It's a shame you gotta go. It's a shame you gotta go. But you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. It's a shame you gotta go. But you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. Cut it out! <laughs> 